Hello everyone, it's Gigi. Welcome to my Saturday Morning Makes with Jill Norwood. I'm also sharing my design team projects from My Creative Time, which you can find here at this website. Um, here is the blog and here is the shopping site right here. And all the products I use, I'll share down in the description box. So let me get on with what I use and then I'll share with you what I made. So for the first two projects, I used the same um, stuff. I just made one a shaker and one not. So I'm gonna share with you what I used. So I use this Gina K um, collaborative set with Hero Arts. It is called uh, Friendship Blooms. And I use the sentiment, thankful for you. Then I used this stamp set here um, from Parkling. It doesn't have a name, but it um, it um, goes along with the Simple Life from Parkling. And I used this little mouse with strawberry stamp. So cute. And then um, I used, on one of them, I used these oval dies from my favorite things called um, Oval Stack Set 2. I used some Distress Oxide on one of them, Barn Door. I used some Clear Acetate on one of them for the shaker. I used these Parkling stickers on both of them. They're um, clear when you put them on. I used um, these sequins on both of them. And these are from, this calls for confetti. And these are freshly picked strawberry. I used um, some glossy accents. I used this paper pad from Park Lane, The Simple Life. And then from my creative time, I use this four by four fancy card dies. And it comes with these stitched stacks right here. And then it comes with the card base. And then it comes with the word, um, what does it say? <laughs> <laughs> just a note with the um, with the layering die also with the shadow die is what I'm trying to say but um, the code is MCT D380 and it's the 4x4 fancy card dies and I will leave the um, link in the description box and then I also used the coordinating four by four envelope die. And it comes with the word happy mail and the little postage stamp and a little heart die. Now I'll show you my projects that I made. I made one that looks like this. And I put little glossy accents on the strawberries. And I put the sentiment, sending hugs to my crafty friend. That actually came from one of her, her stamp sets. I will add that one down in the description box also. I don't have it pulled. But I will add it down in the description box. And then I did a shaker. And this is going to actually my therapist. <laughs> but um, I layered up some paper and I gave it some um, little dots on the inside that I glued down. And then I did the sprinkles. And then on the inside, I did thankful for you. And there you are. And I put glossy accents again on the strawberries. And then I made an envelope to match. And this is what they look like. Really cute. 
easy to put together. Okay, now let me share with you what I use on my next product project. So I use um, quite a bit of stuff. So I use some stickles, some diamond stickles. I use some glossy accents. I used this baking die. I use this bowl die set. I used this icicle die. And these are not um, her dies yet. I use these shape sprinkles from Doodlebug. And I use some of the lavender ones. Then I use this six by eight paper pad from Feelin' Frosty Simple Stories. I use some E6000. I use the Distress Oxides and Dusty Concord and Kitsch Flamingo. And as you can see, I'm going with the Pastel Christmas. Okay, and now I use some My Creative Time um, products. I used the Sweet Holiday Wishes stamp and die set that was just released. And they come with the dies, which is so nice. And they're already trimmed for you, so you don't have to worry about cutting them either, which I love. And I used the sentiment from Our Home to Yours down here, and I used the die also. Then I used the rect rectangle frame dies, and that is MCTD273. And then I used her rectangle frame die layers, and those two coordinate, and it coordinates with the rectangle frame dies. It's the MCTD274. Those are a nice staple to have in your stash. And then I used the Ginger Boy and Girl dies. It's the MCTD397. And these are adorable, guys. They are so cute. And what you can do with them is absolutely endless. Such a cute addition to your stash. And then I used the Assorted Mini Tag dies. And this is MCTD405. And I used this one right here. Really cute. And this is how my card turned out. I think it came out cute, too cute. And I left the inside blank. I'll probably put Merry Christmas, I'm not for sure, or Happy Holidays. I don't know because I'm not sure I'm going to send it to yet. So what do you guys think of the projects? Tell me which one is your favorite out of the three. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I love you. Bye-bye.